All right, well, you might know him as Vince McMahon from the NBC hit Young Rock. I am so excited to welcome comedian Adam Ray. Hi. Hi. Let's give it up. Oh, there was pump in that crowd noise. How's it going? Great. How are you? I'm Thanks good. for having me. Oh, my good gosh. To, good to be on the set of Atlanta and Company. We're happy that you're here. How big is the company? It's pretty big. The last I checked, about 75 on staff. That's awesome. I know. Can't you tell? Yeah, no. Uh -huh. When you said audience at first, I looked around, but I was like, oh, no, it's just the crew. <laughs> It is. It's falling it is. asleep behind the camera. We don't have like um, enough space for a big studio audience, but we did have about 20 people in here the other day. Whoa. I know. That was Who exciting. did they come to see? They were forced to be here by their university. I was going to say, was it like a magic <laughs> mic, like, yeah. you know, women over 50 dance competition? <laughs> Until, yeah, we've had that. Yeah. You, you have had that. Of we course have. you have. Yes. You're a morning show. Surprised. Every, I used to, I, not used to, I, one time, uh -huh. my buddy is an audience warm-up guy for like, you know, uh, Dancing with the Stars and, um, uh, you know, American Idol and um, uh, Dr. Phil he did once, yeah. which is so funny to me because- You gotta first, get them loose first? Or? Well, yeah, because all, every episode of Dr. Phil is there, you know, on today's show, you know, we've got, you know, she's got a UTI, but uh -huh. a PhD. Please say hello to Stephanie. <laughs> you know, our next guest has Down syndrome, but an upbeat attitude. Please say hello to Anthony. Right. And so I'm like, everything is so heavy. So like, yeah, yeah. and he comes out and he's just like, who's from Rancho Cucamonga? You know, raise your hand if you're a MILF and you, you know, deal right. cocaine to teenagers and you want a granola <laughs> okay. bar. Morning show, yeah. Adam. Listen, is that good money though? Oh, to be a, uh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. I did it once for Dancing with the Stars, and it was live, and I got berated, because, like, one of the producers from oh. London was like, he's like, you get to go, list every person's name of the dancers, and then and then I would start talking, and he'd go, what are you doing with live? And I was like, you just told me to talk, just I pick a lane, you know? And it was so stressful, so um, I guess point being, yeah. I did a lot of dance competitions to, like, fill the time, okay. so there's always oh, a need nice. for that. Like, from the audience, you were doing, because yeah. you're known for your crowd work. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're really good. So if you want to get come to the shows, every rest. show's different. We had a guy last night who I think is still asleep in his car right now, uh, <laughs> who was hammered, and he was like, uh -huh. "I drove." He just the show was awesome. The Punchline Comedy Club is one of my favorite clubs. So I'm not good. just saying that; it truly Same. is. It's why I bug Jamie, the owner, every uh, other week to be like, "Can I come back?" He's like, "You were just here." I was like, "I'm still here. I'm outside your house." <laughs> and so um, I uh, did this show last night, and uh, like we're saying, a bunch of my friends from the Mariners uh, came through. Go yeah. Mariners! Sorry, no. Bra but I will say this: the you Braves. You can't do that here, Adam. The Braves, when I no. was a young child, no. and the Mariners were dog crap, was my favorite team. I will name my first kid Sid Bream. I call my wife Terry Pendleton. In bed, um, okay. David Justice. Uh, my aunt Shirley, before she passed, R.I.P. Thanks for bringing it up. Uh -huh. Was dating a Dick Justice okay. in her uh, in her home, and yeah. I was like, I go, uh, I go, Sh Shirley, you're dating Dick Justice. I go, did you meet him before, or after he was a detective slash porn star? And she was like, oh, stop that. And then, um, and anyway, I'm digressing. But so um, uh, the show was awesome, and this guy yeah. drove. He told me. He was like, he was very drunk, and he okay. kept interrupting. And sure. every time there was like a, you know, in between a, a bit moment, and there was some silence, he would just go, I love you, man. Oh, that's and nice. And i go, oh, thanks, dude. And then, yeah, well, a few times is nice. And then, he would, and then after a bit, he would go, that was a good one. <laughs> and just was giving commentary the whole yeah. show. And you know, Punchline's a, an intimate room, so you it can is. hear everything. And this guy was front row and, and very audible. <laughs> Excuse me, monkey box. And then at one point, he goes, um, <laughs> He goes, I did get vaccinated. I didn't get the Pfizer, Johnson, Johnson, okay. or Moderna. I went to Costco and got the Kirkland brand vaccine. <laughs> They're and, the best. Uh, it's the best. I don't know if it, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's working. But so um, anyway, so then he got up to leave at one point, and uh, they were like, Oh no, you gotta, you gotta like, we're gonna Uber you out of here. You're not driving. Oh, that's nice. And then we sure. found him uh, later. Club. Yeah, totally. No, uh -huh. they they made sure he wasn't going anywhere. And yeah. then we found him in his uh, car, uh, but blackout asleep. Okay. Um, well, when my fans. <laughs> love to have a good time is what I'm trying to say. But this doesn't have to be, you can no, come. No, but come, if it a, is, it's good to know that you'll be taken care of. I actually live very close to the punchline, oh, so I will check nice on area. him on my way home. Also, um, tell me about your podcast. podcast if people is, can't make it to the show, they can listen to you on your podcast. If you can't come to the show, you'll hear about the show okay. on the podcast. Uh, also, I'm taping the show, so you will see clips uh, okay. from this weekend. Uh, a lot of good crowd work last night. There was a woman named Melinda last night who okay. was uh, very obnoxious and also recently divorced. Coincidence? And uh, she... Um, Let's not blame Melinda. Let's yeah, not blame no, Melinda. Divorce Adam. happens all the time. Okay. I'm a product of divorce. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, and not and uh, what sucks is when kids think like they did it, you know. Right. Like, well, we just took a turn. Yeah. We took a real. We took oh, a real turn. Oh yeah. We no, I was told I could talk here. about divorce. Um, <laughs> but so, 
But uh, my dad but did say, he goes, funny. if you don't get a B minus in social studies, I'm going to cheat on your mom. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I what guess happened? it is my fault. Oh, I got to no. see. And oh, so, um, you were uh, so close. So uh, the podcast is called About Last Night. I've had on Sandra Bullock, Bill Burr, uh, Chevy people. Chase, okay. Joel McHale, what? Jason Derulo, Melissa McCarthy. Um, had what? on um, uh, Jay Moore recently. Jay Moore recently. I was just listening to that Matthew one. Matthew McConaughey, uh, which, by the way, if there's any part of you fellas that's like, I might be gay, don't talk to Matthew McConaughey over Zoom because I'll wrap that up for you real quick he was he looked right into my eyes and was just everything he says has a purpose and he's so articulate like uh -huh. he's just like the moon the sun and the moon are pretty much and if, if halfway sure. through the pod you just stopped and was like you me a hyundai tucson some mint chocolate chip ice cream you and some it. lube i would have been like all okay. right all right all right you know <laughs> no. anyway. you think you should run for office that's like the scuttlebutt yeah dude i yeah. think every yeah when Schwarzenegger was governor, it was everybody sucks. Yeah. So put okay. someone famous. Sure. They're giving us the wrap up. I sign. know they are. All right. Yeah, um, it's okay. We're this gonna is, come I like see this. You Usually club. I see this. This for whatever reason is more condescending. This just, is cool because it's is, like the home run sign too. It is. It's exciting. So I took that as she's like, you're killing it, but also stop talking. All right, yeah. I'll see you at the game on Sunday or yes. perhaps at your shows Please. tonight, tomorrow. Okay, catch Adam live all weekend at the Punchline Comedy Club. Thanks Thank you.